I've been gone from posting video for a while because uh, I was basically doing uh, lab work, uh, tissue culture labs, and uh, these are the plants, uh, tissue culture plants. Uh, there are philodendrons, uh, alocasia, hoglomina, uh, and a bunch more. I can't remember all of them. Now these are uh, my my teacher's lab. Uh, I don't have these much. Uh, I don't have plants this much yet, uh, but I am working on it. And all of these, almost all of them, are are for sale. Um, they are uh, pretty good looking. This is the Goyle Di uh, variegated ones, and here is the Homolomina um, variegated. Uh, I believe it's called uh, the Mint variegated, and these are the rest of them. This is a variegated alocasia, the, uh, I think it's the Gagiana or Gagiana, I'm not sure about the pronunciation, uh, yellow variegated or aurea. This is another one of the variegated alocasia. You can see that leaf is uh, very, uh, has a lot of yellow variegation, tiny green. Uh, but again, tissue culture plants are not, they're not 100% variegated. Uh, in, the, in the bottle, if you purchase, uh, at least that's uh, my experience in Thailand, what the labs are selling and what I, am, what I sell, uh, all the plants in the, in the bottle, they're not going to be 100% variegated. Some might be green, some might be uh, completely white out. Or uh, yeah, that just like that. It it's uh, it's impossible for all the leaf and all the uh, all every single stem gonna be variegated. That's just how it works. It's plants. It's uh, you can't be hundred percent sure. Here, like I talk about, like it's completely wiped out. This is Alocasia gagiana also. Uh, but it's the white variegation, uh, white variegated ones. Uh, and as you can see, most of them are completely white out. Only some, uh, only some stem, uh, there's still some bit of green and uh, green in the midrib, but most of them are completely white out, all the stems. And that's uh, basically, you can't use that, you can't, uh, put it into a nursery there is a very very high chance that it'll, the plant will not survive it will not uh, photosynthesis and so there would be no food for the whole thing it has just been uh, successfully TC the Monstera Thai constellation uh, this is the newest member and we don't have the numbers yet so uh, it's it's not for sale yet, but it will be in a couple of months. And this is another plant, the Philodendron White Princess. It's a Philodendron with white variegation on the leaf. Pretty, pretty good looking one. I personally uh, like it quite a lot. Uh, it looks very pretty when it grows up, uh, especially the one that has a lot of variegation. Uh, yeah, it, like uh, some of them have my favorite variegation pattern, like this one, half white, and uh, the other half is full of spots of white variegation. Now that's my favorite pattern. Here is the Philodendron Pink Princess, another similar to the White Princess, uh, but it's pink. Uh, also a pretty, pretty plant. New leaf going to be kind of dark and it has uh, pink variegation. Very pretty to look at and and yeah, one of my favorite. Indonesian milk confetti. Hope you can see the pattern there. 
There it is. Pretty plant as well. And one more. This is another Syndonium. The Syndonium uh, Yellow Variegated or Aurea. Uh, call it what you like. And we have some other plants as well, such as the uh, banana, the Siam Ruby. Uh, there's a lot of that. And some other berries and figs and uh, some other eatable fruits. Uh, we also do have them. But uh, it's not as trendy right now. So we mainly switch uh, to uh, houseplant and decoration garden plants like that. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Bye-bye.